So I, I recently got Total Recall in 4K, and aside from, you know, the sheer joy of watching this movie in 4K, I was reminded what a good movie Total Recall 1990 is. And I, and I have to admit, saying Total Recall 1990 pisses me off because of the fact that there is a remake in 2012. So in order to keep my blood pressure down, I'll just say Total Recall, none of this 1990 or 2012 crap. The Verhoeven 1990 version is the superior version. It's called Total Recall. Anyways, on my rewatch, I delighted in just the tension of whether or not Douglas Quaid, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, is in a dream or if the story is really playing out in reality. Uh, on one hand, who, who cares, right? <laughs> the movie's awesome. But I, I really enjoy speculating. And in this video, I'll try to break down what I think. On the side of it being reality, you have a few things going for it. First, so much hinges on the ego trip scene where... Uh, Quaid goes to recall. It's there that the movie makes its shift. You know, the movie says fairly clearly that Quaid's outburst that he has, his freak out moment, is not a result of the implant of the ego trip because they haven't implanted it yet. So just on that alone, you tend to think, well, okay, this is really playing out. But when they're setting up everything for the trip, they essentially say what will be happening in the film. You are a top operative back under deep cover on your most important mission. People are trying to kill you left and right. You meet this beautiful, exotic woman, but you rest assured by the time the trip is over, you get the girl, kill the bad guys, and save the entire planet. Every step of the way, including what Melina will look like. Uh, uh, are we sure? The dream doesn't start with what's happening in Recall? That's always the question I have when I watch the movie. And What's fun, though, I, I guess it's fun, uh, fun for me at least, is it's that Quay dreams of Melina before Recall. If you remember the start of the film, the, you know, the falling down on Mars, eyes popping out of the heads, all that kind of stuff. He dreams of her before then um, bef and before the ego trip at Recall. So... Was this from his memories or from his actual dreams? And, and both sort of make sense to me. There is a musical cue, though, that connects to Recall. And I I was watching some of the extras, and I was going back and watching some of the, the movie again. And I remember someone years ago, can't remember who, just making mention of this musical cue that connects to the recall facility. And we hear this specific music when Quaid is at recall. And then we hear the same piece of music again when the doctor comes to get him out when he's on Mars and kind of you know, uh, withdraw him from the dream state. But then what's really interesting is we hear it again at the very end of the credits, almost like uh, the music is trying to wake Quaid up. I love that stuff. One argument for Quaid's experience being real in Total Recall is that we see, you know, what other characters are doing when Quaid is nowhere to be found. And, and that's a, you know, that's a good argument. It makes some sense. But what always gets me is the end. The, the blue skies of Mars ending. You know, when in Recall, one of the, the when... Quaid is at recall. One of the texts, it's almost like this weird throwaway line, but one of the texts says, Ernie, that's a new one. Blue sky on Mars. Been married long? Of course, that's exactly how we end the film. I, you know, I when I watch Total Recall, I just lean toward it being a dream, but uh, there were plans at one point that they were going to take the story for Minority Report, also written by Philip K. Dick, who wrote... Uh, the recall story, and they were going to take Minority Report and sort of use elements of that as a sequel to Total Recall. In fact, in a, in a book called Tales from Development Hell, uh, Verhoeven was interviewed and he says the following. He says, there was an introduction in Total Recall that mutants were perhaps clairvoyant 
And that was used in the idea for the second one where Quaid becomes the head of this company that can look into the future and protect citizens from eliminating criminals before they do the crime. Oh, boy. So if the sequel happened, if it happened, then Total Recall was a real event in the life of Quaid, but it didn't happen. And we all can breathe a sigh of relief that it was just a dream.